We're going to be checking out some cheap versus expensive laptop gaming setups, so let's get right into it. Once again, if you want to be in the next video just like this, make sure to join my Discord down below. This is where I usually host the setup videos, so let's get right into the first setup. So the first setup we have is by Rise, and it's one of the most cleanest, expensive laptop setups i ever seen. So the first thing that caught my eye is these nano leaf panels. They're really, really clean, and they give the setup an overall better aesthetic vibe. Next thing I noticed is this laptop. I think it has a RTX 3060, and it costs over $2,000. And it's like a Lenovo something. I don't remember. But this laptop is a beast. Then we got the Apex Pro as well. This thing is literally so expensive. It's like $200. And we have the Viper Ultimate. Another 100 something dollars. I'm not sure. Then he also has a monitor. I'm not sure what the refresh rate is. But it's held up by a monitor arm. Which holds up the laptop and the monitor. He also has these really nice plants in the background. Which gives it a really clean vibe as well. Overall, this setup is a 9 out of 10 in my books. Maybe a 10 out of 10, I'm not sure yet. But this setup is really, really clean. So this next expensive setup is by Crossboat. He has a Lenovo IdeaPad and a 120Hz monitor or 240Hz, I'm not sure. But the IdeaPad is a 120Hz screen with a GTX 1650 Ti with a 16GB of RAM. The laptop's also raised up by this laptop stand. I'm not sure if he has a cooling pad as well. And this monitor is a Pixio 240Hz monitor. He said he got it off eBay and it turns off randomly. So yes, you have to replace it soon. This keyboard right here is the DK61, I'm pretty sure. And the mouse is the Razer. I'm, I'm not even going to pronounce it. I can't even say it's like Ballast or, or some shit like that. I don't know. He also has these really clean lights in the background, which I really like. Overall, it's really nice. The mouse pad, I'm not sure what mouse pad this is. He also shows that he has this Martaz controller joystick looking thing, which is really cool as well. He also turned on the blue aesthetic vibe, and this thing looks really clean with the background and the wallpaper. Really, really clean. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. The next setup we have here is by Vari. He has a vertical monitor and a laptop in this setup, which is really clean. So the laptop is either an MSI laptop or a Nitro 5. I think it's an MSI. He also has a cooling fan right below the laptop, which is always a good thing. I think he has a bunch of 60% keyboards as he has one right here and the main keyboard he's using. Not sure what mouse this is, but it looks really clean. I'm pretty sure his mic is the Quadcast as well. Really clean mic. He also has a bunch of RGB going around this setup with these LED lights, which is really clean as well. He also has two mouse pads, I'm sure. One right here and one right here. I think that's a mouse pad. I'm not sure. But overall, this setup is really clean. I give it a simple 7 out of 10. This next setup is really clean, and it's by my boy Cooler. You already know. He has the RTX 3050 Ti, or I'm not sure, Acer Nitro 5 with a monitor as well. I think this is a 240Hz monitor. He also has the Apex Pro, which is really expensive with the Viper Mini. I also noticed that his monitor is lifted up by this monitor stand thing. It looks really clean. I've never seen something like this before. He also has this little Lego man guy in the background, which is really clean. Overall, the setup is really clean. Things you need to just fix is this cable management down here. But I give it a really simple 8 out of 10. It's really clean and gets the job done. This next setup we have here gives it a really cool pink vibe. It's by Adam Poopyhead. I'm sorry for saying that, but that's your name, bro. So he has this laptop right here. I'm not sure what it is, but it has an RTX. He also has the Viper Mini, I'm pretty sure, right here. He also has this honeycomb mouse. I'm not sure what it is. Also, the laptop is lifted by this laptop stand. It looks kind of like mine, but it's not mine, obviously. The, he also has this really clean wireless headset as well. And he has this mic on a boom arm with these filter things. I'm not sure, but it looks really clean as well. Also, he has this little plant and the Xbox controller, which is a really cool combo. It looks really nice. Here, we also have a really bland mouse pad, just simple black, but I think it looks really clean to the setup. And we got part of a LED light that I see right here, which is really clean. Overall, I give this setup a 8 out of 10. It's really clean, really aesthetic, and it gives out a really good vibe. 
Next setup we got here is by Nervy. He has a triple monitor setup. So his laptop right here has a GTX 1650, 16 gigabytes of RAM and an i7. He also has these two monitors. I'm not sure what the refresh rate is. I'm gonna just guess is 144 hertz because literally everyone runs 144 hertz monitors nowadays. His laptop also has a laptop fan, which is really nice and it helps the laptop a lot. There's a lot going on in this setup, so he also has this mic right here. It looks like mine, not gonna lie. It looks like the Fifine mic. It looks really clean. He also has this ring light, which gives it a really nice glow. This keyboard, it looks like a custom with nice keycaps. looks really nice. And I'm not sure what this mouse is, but it's an RGB mouse, so really nice as well. He also has two mouse pads, one with RGB and one right here, which is really nice as well. And his headset is right here on this headset stand, which is really nice as well. I think this is a streaming setup, I think. So yeah, it looks like a really nice streaming setup. The thing is, the cable management is really bad. As you guys can see, there's a ton of cables right here and right here. But I do like the RGB in the back of these monitors. I give it a little glow, which is a plus one. I give this setup a 7 out of 10. A lot of things are going on and it's kind of messy, but it's a really nice setup. I think it's mainly for streaming, which is really nice as well. The next setup we got here is by my boy Sim. He has the Nitro 5 hooked up to a monitor. It's a really clean setup. His laptop has an RTX 3050, I believe. And his monitor, I think it's 144 hertz. His keyboard is the Red Dragon TKL. I literally had this as my first keyboard as well. This thing costs around $40. And he has this Logitech mouse right here. His mouse pad is a simple bland mouse pad, black and white. I used to have a mouse pad just like this as well. So this is giving me my old nostalgic vibes. His mic is a Fifi mic. I'm not sure if the exact model is mine, but it looks literally alike. He also has a PS4 controller right here. And he has this Apple Watch right here, which is really clean. I give this setup a really clean 6 out of 10. A lot of things you should upgrade. Add some RGB. The setup would look really clean and give it a nice glow. Now we're going to be moving on to the more cheaper and poor side of the laptop setups. We got my boy Juice Will right here. He has a really, really weird setup right here. He has some type of HP laptop right here. It looks like a school laptop with the Razer Death Adder Elite mouse. This mouse pad literally looks like it was taken from the garbage, but I guess it gets the work done. His sort of table is this little cabinet drawer things with his clothes. Really, really weird setup, but I give it a really nice 7 out of 10. He's, he's literally making the job done with what he has, so respect for that. But this is a really weird setup. The next setup we have here is by Ronald Peterson. So it's another one of these HP school looking laptops. He also has this office mouse right here. I'm not sure if he's right handed or left handed, but it's on the left side. He also has this type of fan. You should put it towards your laptop so it doesn't overheat too much. I give this setup a really clean 8 out of 10 as it has a proper desk, has a laptop. You just need to get a mouse pad and maybe a keyboard and you will be set. Next setup we have is by Jay. He has a simple looking laptop. I'm not sure what it is. He also has this keyboard with RGB. I think it's Steel Series by the looks. And then we also have this Razer mouse right here. The desk looks so worn out. And it looks like there's not much space to be played on. I'm not sure if this is even a desk, but it's a little type of tabletop thing. It also has some type of stand thing on the bottom of this laptop, which is really nice as well. I give this setup a simple 7 out of 10 as it has all the proper functions as a budget laptop gaming setup. So this setup is really messy and I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. Over here, we got another HP laptop. I noticed that a lot of these laptops are HP that are budget. He's also missing a key on his keyboard, and he has sub to king, which you all should know by now. Also, this keyboard right here, it looks like a Razer Sinosa, I think. And then we also have this Razer Death Adder Elite. I see that the laptop is held up by some cookie jar thing right here, which is really nice. And he has a mouse pad right here with, I think, RGB. 
Bro, the background on this setup is just a complete mess. There's a ton of boxes, food, and everything. It looks like his mom just came back from Costco and he plays on the dinner table. Overall, this setup is around a 5 out of 10. There's a lot of stuff going on. But overall, it's a really nice setup and it probably gets the job done really well. So this last setup we have here is by FaZe, one of the best setups ever. He got the Dora with the RTX 3090 Ti, which is a crazy, crazy laptop. He also has this miniature monitor thing inside of the laptop. So it's a two for one combo for the super OP NASA laptop. He also has this little play button made out of paper with his name on it. And he also has this really nice postcard right here that says King is the best. And he has this Pro Zen controller right here. Overall, this setup is a 1,000 out of 10. One of the best setups ever, man. There's nothing that can beat this setup.